there is oh uh, it's here so let me close it uh, solve it again okay so here's the solution and uh, uh, let's just uh, look uh, let's just code up something um, a little bit uh, more interesting to see actually the evolution of the solution how about that so we are going to be doing like this we're going to for t goes from 0 to uh, let's step over for with a time step of uh, 0.01 this time step is not a time step for this uh, time discretization but a time step for visualization so we're going to solve the Burgers equation with a uh, for only 0.01 seconds okay and we're going to plot it uh, we're going to draw now and we're going to pause for the same amount of time um, and uh, let's see and we want to update u0 is equal to u and right uh, let's see my u yes uh, should be this way okay so what i'm doing is i'm uh, uh, looping through time really and uh, every time i solve the equation i only solve for 0.01 seconds and i draw the solution and try to look at it all right let's actually close all to start with and now when I run it, uh, is it not draw now? Is it like that? Okay, yeah, it's like that. So let me run it again. Right. So that's how the solution evolves. Okay, let's run it again. So if you can observe carefully what the solution does quite interesting right can anybody spot the similarity between this solution and uh, uh, the pure advection equation we have looked at before right remember if I replace uh, the u here with a constant let's say 1 what would the solution do I mean, we can just uh, see it, right? We can, if we just, uh, okay, instead of this, I put a 1 here. Let's run this again. Right? It just uh, shifts towards the right. But if I replace this with a U here, what do we get? Okay, watch and I'll ask uh, one of you to describe it. Wait, didn't click it. Okay, what's happening? Yeah, so it's moving left and right at the same time. And which part moves towards the right? Which part moves towards the left? The left is right. Like the top over there is mm -hmm. right and the bottom. The top has moved towards the right, the bottom has moved towards the left. Right? What's the difference? What's the difference between the top and bottom? The sign. Yeah, the sign of U, right? Okay, so the sign of U is different. Whenever u is positive solution seems, seems to be moved towards the right whenever u is negative the solution moves towards the left right now it makes sense right u now serves as the same row as the constant a except for the effect is local no longer does the entire solution move towards the left or the right parts of my solution move towards the left or right depending on how big u is all right, so a positive value of u would cause the solution to move towards the right, and negative solution would move, cause it to move towards the left. And actually, if you notice, the higher u is, the faster it moves towards the right, and the lower u is, the faster it moves towards the left. And when u is zero, it never moves, right? Okay, now a question. Can somebody predict if I solve the equation a little bit longer, what's going to happen? Huh? It's going to break. <laughs> the slope here gets steeper and steeper. At some point, it'll become infinity, right? That's how shockwave forms. And when you say break, that's actually how uh, like a wave in the ocean breaks. 
you can uh, you can describe uh, a wave uh, in the ocean, not in deep ocean, but like close to the beach using a partial differential equation called the shallow water equation. Uh, if you've been to museums, uh, some museums actually gives you the 2D, uh, like when they have some demonstrations of, of that kind of thing. It's a slightly more complex equation than this. It has two variables, right? It has the height of the water and the velocity of the water. But like the uh, the how the shock wave forms is basically exactly the same as as what we are seeing here. So when you say it'll break, it's exactly what's going to happen. So let's actually see it. So now let's actually solve for twice that long. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Okay. So it does actually at some point it does a form. Uh, let's. I think it might be here. You you do see the slope goes to kind of uh, infinity, right? So so yeah, uh, a shock forms over here. And did I say finite difference doesn't really handle discontinuity very well? <laughs> we can see what happens there, right? And if we solve it actually for longer, right? For 2, 5. Well, 